Jimmy Johnson jumps out. Got a great start. He's down on the bottom already trying to get the lead away. Race leader Kyle Busch in the 18. Ninth race Kyle has led this season. He has led the most laps in 2009. And you see that 48 working that high groove, and you can see how he closed the gap. He just picked up four car lengths on uh, on Kyle right there. So you obviously see the big two differences right now. Kyle's trying to work the low line, but watch the 48 as he runs high, especially off the corner. This is where you get ahead of steam and go. This is for the lead. Johnson has it. And let's see what strategy plays out here. And these teams were getting very close to green flag stops. Debris in turn three. 72 laps are complete. This is our first caution of the race. No passing to you. Cross start finish and then they fan out. That's like you showed earlier, Wally. They're four and five wide back. Yeah, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. Look at them right there. The 48 team led by Ken Purcell, the Jack Man. They're all working on the car hard, giving him four tires. Fuel, Jimmy is gone and away. Next thing he knows, Carl powers back by him, and then Jimmy has to run right. hard, and Jimmy runs out of gas, and Carl doesn't. So you got to be close enough to take advantage and push that guy right. and make that guy in front of you run out of gas. Yeah, if you're going to be three or four seconds back behind Bimble and hope he runs out of gas, yeah, that, that ain't going to... You know, that ain't going to work. You've got to be fast enough to be right there. Yeah, that's the proverbial hope and a promise. Yeah, yeah, he's, okay, he's definitely throttled back. But 48's oh, also gaining on him like crazy right now. Yeah, seven-tenths of a second. See Johnson come up out of the corner there. That thing slaps back I mean, and forth. He's been I mean, like he's, that for the last ten laps. He's yeah, been hitting the wall almost. He's trying to get there to catch up. And whether he's trying to get there to get around him at, at this point in time with this many laps or to get there and just smell the draft and save some fuel for him, you know, it, as fast as he's caught him over the last three or four laps, it's almost like if I can ride behind him for four to or five laps. Ten to go. Ten to go. If he's in fuel conservation, I want to get by him and I want to have a little bit of a cushion because if Biffle drops the hammer again because he's got enough fuel, then you got to race him. Yeah, then you got to race him. That's true. And fire Biffle, no savings, no savings. Two laps short, two laps short, no savings. Tell me to run it. 25 percent, 25 percent. Needed two laps of gas from the beginning of the run. Two laps. He may have him there. Yep, he's going to be clear from there. Got some traffic in front of them. Johnson slides in and gets the lead. Wow. That was just a power move right there. You're not going to be able to keep up with Jimmy Johnson and save fuel. And you have to remember, no one is for sure able to reach the finish on their fuel load. You just don't know. Phil, he's sitting back there knowing that his car is fast. Mark told his crew just moments ago he said I feel like we can run up there and pass him the problem is we need to finish we need to have a solid run here he's 13th in the points one point out of 12 right now he's in fuel conservation mode looking at the bigger picture and again these cars their drivers oh Biffle really loose these guys on the edge of their fuel window we saw what happened at Pocono guys running out coming out of the final turn last week White flag is Whoa. out. Jimmy oh, Johnson is out of fuel. Yes. Jimmy oh, Johnson oh. is out of fuel. Biffle leads. White flag in the air. This is the last lap. Biffle may be the new Silver Fox. Well, well, hang on. We got a long way to go. We got Mark Martin sitting right there. Mark just moved to second. Biffles, he looks to be He's slow. Slower. He's slower. Is he slower? He's off the pace. He's off the pace. Here, Here comes Mark Martin. Come Mark. Mark. He's barreling. Oh my God! Oh, look at Biffle. He's shaking it. He He's just shaking went to the switch. Here comes Mark. Oh no! Half a lap from the finish. Mark Martin to the lead. Incredible. Does he have enough fuel? This is drama, dude. This is. Oh yeah, he can. Co he can coast from here. Out of He's four. got it. Biffle's gonna coast. He's got Mark four Martin. wins here and another one today. Mark Martin takes the checkered flag at Michigan. That's why you Get love the racing. What was it like for you inside the cockpit trying to find the balance of saving fuel yet having enough speed? Well, you know, uh, this team deserves to be in the chase, and we were on the outside looking in with all the trouble we had. I went for, I feel, I went for the points, man. Uh, I didn't think, I thought those guys were running too hard for us to save gas. I couldn't do it both, save gas and run with them. And, uh, when Jimmy ran out, we got over here. I don't know if you're a listener or not. I said, if we're this close, I'm going to run hard, you know, and I thought we could make it.